Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you all with a new video, of course. And today I wanted to talk about some of my favorite powder foundations. Um, a lot of these foundations, I do like to wear them on their own. And sometimes I do like to set um, my liquid foundation with a lot of these powders but typically i do wear my powder foundations on their own i really don't like to set um my makeup or whatever with them like i just like to wear my powders on their own i don't know why that's just what i like to do but anyway let's just get right into uh powder foundation that i really really like um and this is a old powder meaning i've had it for a long time i need to actually buy a new one and it is the smashbox photo filter uh powder foundation i actually have the shade nine um before you could sorry i had this upside down this is what it looks like um i got mine off of sephora website and you can't find these on all so you ha actually have to go directly to the smashbox website I really like this uh, powder. This kind of gives you like that whole photo filter look, hence the name photo filter. This really gives your face like a blur filter type look. This is a really, really good powder. Um, if you can get your hands onto it, I get your hands on it. I'm kind of scared that they're going to stop making this one. So I actually need to hurry up and buy a couple of them. And I believe this one is about 40 to $50. I can't really remember. The next, the next powder foundation I'm going to show y'all is the Sephora Bake Micro Smooth uh, Powder. I'm sure we've all seen a lot of people use this on YouTube. This is a really good powder. This is a nice, like everyday natural type look, type of powder for like a natural uh, look. This is not full coverage. Um, I think the finish is natural and not matte. I'm not really sure. But I do know this does not provide a lot of coverage. So this is one of the powders that you can actually wear on its own. And it looks pretty good. And I have the shade Deep 60. Um, and I believe this was like 20 19 20 dollars i can't really remember and i actually heard that this was being discontinued i hope not but if it is i'm going to buy a lot of them because i really really like um this powder this is a really nice natural finish like i was saying and another powder um that i got as well from by the, uh, the actual sephora collection is the sephora matte perfection powder foundation this is a nice matte powder like i really really like this powder it keeps your makeup in place and i think i paid like 20 something dollars this actually wears like a really really high-end powder but it is by it's the sephora collection and i have the shade deep 64 mocha it comes with a little sponge this is what it looks like um only thing with this powder is i feel like um, you really have to go in the store to figure out what shade you would be. And that's kind of hard right now being at the store. You can't get shade match. And the reason why I'm saying this is because when you do like the, um, the whole, uh, shade, find a shade match, whatever thing it is, I can't think of the name, on Sephora, uh, sometimes that can be off. And when I first decided to get this powder, it told me to get the shade 66, um, think it's i can't i don't know shade 66 and when i got it it was way too dark it actually looks like a bronzer on me that's how dark it is so i had to go down to shade 64 so if you're picking up this like really make sure you get your correct shade the next one that i like a lot is the makeup forever matte velvet skin um i like a lot of makeup uh forever products i actually used to wear um what was the other powder before they came out with this one it was I can't think of the name of it, but it kind of looks like this a little bit. Matter of fact, let me go get it because I think I actually still have it. Okay, I found it. Um, this is the old Makeup Forever powder, and this was the dual matte. This was just, this is just bringing back memories to me. That's how much I used to wear this. And I was so mad when they discontinued this. Like, I just, I was upset. But then when they came out came out with the matte velvet one, this is a nice replacement for that one, but I still like the original powder much better than this one. I don't know, it just, I don't know, you know how you have some like products that you just really, really like? That's kind of what it is. But anyway, y'all, I do have the shade Y505. Um, this has a really nice size mirror. 
in it. Um, and once you finish using the powder, you can also go out and just purchase um, another one because this is refillable. So you don't have to go out and buy a whole nother um, powder. You know, you're saving money. So that's always a plus. And this has, like I was, like I was saying, a really nice size mirror. Um, the, this powder is more medium to full coverage. I feel like you definitely could build this up. This is a nice matte powder. Like this is really nice. And Makeup Forever usually have a nice shade selection. You definitely can find your shade in this powder. The next powder I'm going to show y'all is from uh, Lancome and it is their dual finish powder and I have the shade 470C. This is a nice everyday powder. The finish is natural. Um, only thing with this, if you're somebody that's sensitive to scents, you probably won't like this because this does have a scent. And when I opened it, I kind of got a whiff of that scent. It's not off-putting. kind of smells like baby powder to me. But I'm just letting you know, just in case, if you are sensitive to scents, I don't think you would like this. But this is a good everyday um, powder to wear on its own. Or you can wear it on top of another like liquid foundation. And this reminds me a lot of, where is it? I just had it the Sephora uh, Baked Micro Smooth Powder. Like, they give you that every nice natural look. They're definitely not matte, and I feel like this one do, is not full coverage as well. Like, it, just like an a everyday light type of powder. I'm going to show y'all is from KVD. This is a very, very, very full coverage powder. Like, you definitely can wear this on its own and it's going to look like you have a high-end liquid foundation and it's going to be full coverage. Like, this is kind of what that powder is. You can, like I said, wear it on its own or you can wear it on top of another foundation to set it. Like, I really, really like this powder and usually KVD make good pro good complexion products, I feel like. Um, I have the shade Rich Deep 220. This is a little dark for me. I need to go down a shade or two, but I still like it. This is a good powder. Like, I really, really like this. And I highly, highly recommend this one out of all the powders that I'm going to show y'all. Like, that's how much I like this. This is kind of like holy grail stat status to me. That's how much I like it. But anyway, this is what it looks like. The last powder I want to show y'all, I like this one, but I don't feel like this is a need. This powder is more of a want. If you go out and get this, I feel like it's because you want it. It's not because like you need it. I don't feel like a somebody's makeup collection um, need it, especially starting out. I don't. I definitely feel like this is something you don't need, but I do like it. Um, and it is the Gucci. Uh, matte natural powder i think that's the name yeah matte natural powder i like this a lot um i have the shade number 11 i heard that there was shade 12 but i have yet to see shade 12 online anywhere so i don't know how true that is shade 11 matched me perfectly like this matches me to a t like i did good with the shade match um this is another one that does have a scent it's a little light floral scent but this at, when you put it on your face it kind of fades to me i only smell it like when i open it then after that it kind of just fades away um this is what the packaging look like this is actually really really nice like i love the packaging and this comes with a sponge i believe if i can get it open because i haven't used this in a, quite a while it, not a sponge a little powder puff thingy um this is another this is a nice powder only thing is like i just was saying the scent so if you're sensitive to scents i really don't think you would like this and this is not like a powder i feel like someone need like if you never got your hands on this powder i feel like it's okay i feel like this is not full coverage to me this is more like light medium i don't even feel like you could build this up like this is this is a nice powder. Like I said, it's not a want, but I, it's not a need, but I still like it. So yeah, basically that is it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any powders that you feel like I would like, definitely leave it below in the comment section. Um, and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see y'all later. Bye.